Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Breakdown New Clearance Cards Okay, so let's talk about this new clearance card called SP Little Knight. Let's uh, see that effect. SP Little Knight has the following effect. It's a link to that says this. If this card is link summoned using Fusion, Synchro, XYZ or Link Material, you can target one card on the field or in either graveyard, banish that card. Also, during this turn, your monsters cannot attack directly. When your opponent activates an effect, you can target two face-up monsters on the field, including a monster you control, banish those two monsters until the end phase. Yeah, this is one of the cards coming in uh, the new set, Age of Overlord, on October 19th this year. So what is it about this as a clearance card that is good? First of all, it has a really nice effect, very easy to summon. Although it only gets that effect when a link material, uh, link material it's used is from the extra deck. So it's, you know, balancing itself out that way. Um, I really like the effect. And in terms of like being a clearance card, it's a, a way in the right direction. It's not too crazy, not too, not too powerful in terms of its effect. And I can definitely see it not just becoming a staple, but becoming a healthy staple. And I don't see it getting banned any time in the future. This is definitely going to be an extra deck staple for a while, like the way um, Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer was. But I think unlike Phoenix Enforcer, this is going to be one of those extra deck staples, which is going to come to player preference. And whether this is played in your extra deck is going to include whether your link heavy deck. If your deck is possibly going to be link heavy, it's going. This is going to be in your extra deck. But if it isn't, then it's not going to be in your extra deck. I think it's going to be one of those um, cards where you, as a player, decide whether it's good for you, whether it suits your deck or not. All in all, this is a great card great addition to our new clearance cards and a great new extra deck staple that we have to play with and along with other extra deck staples let's see let's now see what other extra deck staples do we have we have ip mascarena that's one extra deck staple we've got we have Zeus, but Zeus is not really an extra deck staple so much because unless you deck um does uses xyz summoning and unless it has quite a lot of space it doesn't really use it and we've seen over time especially in the tcg how zeus has just fallen out of favor because simply i think simply because it just doesn't offer enough it than other extra deck staples simply because there's a lot of extra deck space that it takes. You have Borrowed Savage Dragon being another extra deck staple, that's two. We also have what else do we have? We also have um what's the other extra deck staple? Hmm. Let me see. The other extra deck staple we have is a Palooza. Which we see in decks, um, access code talker again, but this is more so in link focused decks. Um, we have Synchro 10, bar, uh, you know, Baron de Fleur, hmm, and that's pretty much it. Usually, our extra examples tend to be there are around two to three of them, possibly four or five, and yeah, that's all I've got to say. Let's move on. Okay, let's go to this next clearance card. And I feel, just for reference, I feel this clearance card is not going to be used at all. I feel it's going to be used once and be forgotten and never going to be used again. And I think when people and when players read this card's effect fully and fully understand what this card does, it's going to be a XYZ that will never be used. So... Let's uh, look at it and read its effect. So this is called Stellar Nemesis Tifon, Doomsday Star, uh, rank 12 XYZ monster, Fiend Dark. 
So its materials are two level 12 monsters to hard make it. Let's read its effect. You can also XYZ summon this card by using one monster you control with the highest attack during the turn or the next turn after your opponent special summoned two or more monsters from the extra deck. Transfer materials to this card. If a monster is sum if summoned this way, you cannot normal or special summon other monsters for the rest of this turn. Neither player can activate monsters with 3000 or more attack while you control this XYZ summoned card. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, return one monster on the field to the hand. Okay, so let's talk about this card and talk about the serious failure that this card has. First of all, like this card is like whining and dining and really teasing you. But when we look at the end and see its actual effect of what it actually removes when it's only one monster, you can't be, it's just insane. You really, you can't be serious. You can't take me for a ride like this. Are you telling me after all this, you can only bounce one card? We have other removal cards, right? Get compulse, compulse evacu compulsory evacuation device does more than this card. This is just compulsory evacuation device as a monster, as a monster that can't be, um, you know, responded to. I mean, that's that's insane. That this isn't good. The thing is, like, for all the investment that you put into this card. The payoff is so bad because you're only bouncing one card. And I feel like just because of that payoff of one card, it's just simply just something that we would not consider in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! And I think it's not considered in the extra deck at all. I think Z Divine Arsenal Zeus is going to be one of those exercises that is preferred to this card. Because the investment for Dooms Doomsday Star is too much. You do a lot of investment. You can't even activate any of your other monsters. This is another issue as well with this card. It's such a such a powerful restriction. And you can't even use any of these cards. So the only way you can use this card is in main phase two. But the fact that you're only bouncing one monster. Um, again, well, whoop de doo it doesn't target because it says switch is great, but uh, that's uh, that's that's like a requirement. Like if it's said to uh, to bounce all monsters your opponent controls, return all monsters your opponent controls, that would be all right. That would, that would actually make sense and would. Or be understandable considering the hoops and hurdles that you've done to summon this monster but for all of that you basically do nothing and overall when it comes to like removal the new clearance cards we have i think this is an absolute failure um this has been overbalanced, over tweaked and i think this is konami i think being a bit worried about tcg and with Divine Arsenal Zeus adoption rate we had in in uh, the TCG, unlike in OCG where it wasn't played so much, and I think Konami has pretty much seen it and been like, whoa, 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 you need we need to calm down here. I think we let's not uh, release something a little bit, uh, quite quite strong in effects. Let's calm down a bit. I think definitely it's a bit overtuned, a bit too balanced. In fact. To the point of just useless yes if that makes sense well that's all i've got to say about this card we come to the end of this video so as i like to say you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh master my faith right is in your hands